In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the stick or the triangle read concept in Madden. This is a great concept for situations where your opponent is dropping either maybe they're sending some blitzes out of zone coverage, they're starting to drop double Mabel uh, coverage to stop your crossing routes, or you just need a quick hitting short yardage kind of concept. Now the beauty of the stick concept or the triangle read is it's gonna create a triangle in the middle of the field and kind of put the user in no man's land and oftentimes gonna be able to easily attack really any, any uh, defense that you're going to face. Now I'm in the U-Trips formation or the Y-Off Trips Pats formation. We're gonna show you how I like to run it out of this uh, playbook. Really the, the, the money play in my opinion for this is the stutter curl seam. Now the reason I like the stutter curl seam is really just for this crossing route to the tight end. If you have tight end apprentice, then you could probably just recreate the crosser. Uh, but I really like the stutter curl seam. So uh, how we're gonna set this play up is we are simply going to wheel our running back we're going to flat our solo receiver. What that's going to do is it's going to attack the seam uh, on this left-hand side. Now, on the right side, we're also going to attack the seam, but we're going to do it in a, you know, in a triangular fashion with this curl. Now, you can either leave him on the curl route that he's already on, or you could just hitch that slot receiver and put that outside trips receiver on a uh, little zig route or smoke screen. So what this does is it creates a triangular kind of concept in the middle of the field. Now, um, if you guys want to get my entire U-Trips ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. Um, but I'm going to show you how this play works against man and zone. So against man, man is the best thing they can do to stop this play is run man coverage. Okay, but we do have some reads against man. If we we get man coverage and there's no safety here on the left we can throw this free form high bull, high point um pass to the running back the way you do that is you're going to hold left trigger and you're going to hold l1 and then you're going to basically high ball that over the top now what that does is it makes so they have to have safety help over the top if they have to have safety help over the top then what we're going to be able to attack is now with this crossing route to the tight end now the beauty of this hitch and zig concept and this is really where the stick route become comes in handy is the fact that what it can do against zone coverage so when they start to go to zone coverage to stop this crosser then what we're going to be able to do is start to really attack them with our seam wheel our seam wheel to the left side with our back but we also have this route combo over here on the right now what most people are going to do especially if they're if they're um trying to defend u trips is they're going to hard flat because they need to stop the tight end quick out route from other plays that we've uh called in this offense so what you're going to start to see now is this little hitch is going to kind of get in the soft spot against zone coverage this is also really really effective if your opponent is trying to set up basically a cover zero, one of the popular, uh, not cover zero, but a, a cover three blitz. So basically what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to use her the tight end off the rip here. This is why I like to re-hitch that slot receiver because he's literally just going to turn around against that blitz. Easy reads against the cover zero pressure, um, whether, or I'm sorry, the cover three, three deep, three under pressure. Now against cover zero pressure, the main read that we're going to have is typically they're going to sit right here. And really what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to decipher, am I going to go guard the the um, the hitch or am I going to go guard the tight end crosser? Now if they know the play, they're probably going to sit on that crosser. But if they don't know the play, chances are you're going to be able to hit that tight end crosser over the middle of the field against man-to-man -man pressure. Now another popular coverage for uh, your opponent when you start to just kind of have a level of consistency in terms of what you're able to do offensively is they're probably going to go into this double Mabel cover three coverage. This is another coverage that stick really stands out against because what you're going to see here um, is we're not going to attack, you know, the sideline now, but they're going to be dropping zones over there. And this is where this hitch really does a great job against any kind of double Mabel coverage. That hitch route is going to just absolutely destroy it. So now what they're going to have to do as a user is if they see you run this, then they're going to have to say, okay, I've got to go to the right side of the field because I've got to take away that, that hitch route. Well, in that case, then I'm going to be able to step up and I can highball this running back wheel against zone coverage. And you see that that running back wheel can kind of get in that soft spot of the zone as well. 
So really the beauty of stick is that it can attack a lot of different pieces of the defense that is going to be vulnerable the more that you establish your standard concepts or your drop back games such as shale uh, or I'm sorry sail or wide cross or even shallow cross. The, the stick concept is really a complement uh, to that. Now, another way to run the stick concept um, is if you wanted to do it out of a different play in the formation, one of my favorite things to do is you can actually do it out of any play that has this backside player on a post. So you'll see here uh, C.D. Lamb is going to be on a post. What we're going to do now is we're just going to take our slot, we're going to put him on a curl, and we're going to motion him across. So you see here you have the hitch, you have the curl, and you have the post. It's the same basic concept. Uh, it's just a, maybe a little bit more longer developing, right? So if you wanted to make it a quicker developing concept, what I like to do here is we'll just put a slant, a hitch, a flat, an out, and a fade. So what you see here is the same basic thing. It's just a quicker variation of it. So you have this hitch, you have the flat, and then you have this. So if it's man coverage, oftentimes your slant is going to be your primary read. And then if it's zone coverage, oftentimes your little hitch is going to be kind of your secondary read. So the beauty of stick is that it can really start to take what the defense is going to have to do to stop your main offense. And now you're going to start to kind of knick-knack and, you know, just kind of like dink and dunk your way, you know, up and down the field on them. So that's how you run stick both ways out of U-Trips, one of my favorite concepts in Madden. And uh, if you want to get the rest of my U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description below.